Should I do it again? I do one more. Okay. Medical cannabis is now legal in 28 states and DC, but patients are still in the dark regarding how much, how often, or what strains they should consume. Dr. H.J. Raza hopes to change that. I've had migraines for about 15 years and I've tried countless medications and with really adverse side effects and there's nothing really that's been effective. Dr. Raza uses the BrainBot a brain scanning technology that analyzes the neural response to cannabinoids to educate patients on how they should consume medical marijuana. As we begin to obtain more objective data, not only the scientific community, but the lay community will begin to realize the benefits of this. The mind behind the BrainBot is 25-year-old entrepreneur David Goldstein. BrainBot's vision was to get a more objective view, more empirical-based evidence on how cannabis affects patients. There's over 30,000 different strain names on the market. For the adult use market, that's fine. You could market it, you could brand it, you could try to sell it, get a celebrity to endorse it. But for a medical patient, if you're dealing with fibromyalgia or multiple sclerosis, it's very confusing to pick between all of those different varieties. Imagine this was a painkiller and you're telling someone, hey, go try all these different painkillers at different dosing, different consumptions, and which one works for you? It really helps not only further the conversation of cannabis, but gives patients a better understanding as to what's helping them. What we have are finding out in the scientific community is that CBD, which is a constituent of the marijuana plant, actually comes from hemp. It has no psychoactive effects. Okay, here you go. What you're looking at here are the four major rhythms of the brain. Mm -hmm. The delta, the theta, alpha, and beta. These specific rhythms signify levels of consciousness. The neurologist can stop it at one point and say, hey, wow, okay, I gave the CBD at 10 seconds here. Look at the effect on the uh, delta or the beta rhythm. I would say about 19 waves per second falls into the beta category. And Jennifer went from a 19 to a 7. To a 7. That's the, pretty good, right? That's very, very good. And what that does is helps the vasospasm that occurs in migraine, which is, the, of course, the eliciting event right. uh, that starts the headache. I'm pain-free right now. And when you are able to change the brain's waves for your own benefit, I think this would be a very positive thing for you.